All right, everybody, how are we doing today? Time to tackle some global politics for once today. Sheesh, that's what I normally tackle. But the local stuff has been very important lately and needed to be talked about. Uh, so global stock markets crash as U.S. trade with China escalates. Yeah, the U.S. is actually uh, damaging the purchasing power of the U.N. See, a currency's purchasing power is based on the national GDP. Your national GDP stands for gross domestic product. That is the amount of, of domestically grown product that your currency is able to purchase. Your GDP is also affected by international trade, i.e. how much of your gross domestic product can be purchased overseas by another currency. The easier it is to purchase your stuff, the more valuable your currency becomes. And since Washington's been placing so many crazy tariffs on Chinese product, the value of the yuan has been dropping. Oh, but it's not just the yuan. It's also been affecting many of the United States and Chinese trade partners as well. Uh, escalation of the U.S.-China trade tensions spooked investors as Wall, as Wall Street opened deep in the red on Monday. Uh, the Dow Jones Industrial Average fell more than 580 points, or around 2% after the opening bell. The S&P 500 and Nasdaq Composite were down 2% and 1-3% respectively. U.S. stocks followed. The downturn on the Asian markets, Japan's Nikkei, declined 1.74% on trade tensions concerns, while Hong Kong's Hang Seng fell 2.85% and China's Shanghai Composite closed 1.62% down. European stocks also tumbled on Monday, with FTSE 100 representing the leading companies listed on the London Stock Exchange down 2.78%. France's CAC 40 dropped by 2.26%, and Germany's DAX was trading more than 5% lower in the afternoon trading. U.S. President Donald Trump took to Twitter, his favorite thing, on Monday to call Washington's trade war rival China a currency manipulator after the renminbi dropped below 7 per dollar for the first time in over a decade. China's national currency sank following Trump's earlier threats to hit Beijing with new tariffs in less than a month, amid the escalating trade standoff between the two world's largest economies. The president was quick to say that the move will eventually backfire on China. According to his tweet, It's called currency manipulation. This is a major violation which will greatly weaken China over time. It's not the first time Trump has slammed China for this, but the U.S. Department of Treasury refrained from, uh, uh, from officially labeling Beijing a currency manipulator, placing it on the monitoring list instead. Apart from China, the list now includes Japan, South Korea, Germany, Germany Italy, Ireland, Singapore, Malaysia, and Vietnam. Uh, just, just in, apparently now there's a place called Germany. <laughs> Making fun of my own slip of the tongue there. The People's Bank of China, or PBOC, which is in charge of the UN's exchange rate, blamed the weakening of the currency on the U.S. own actions, such as unilateral protectionist measures, as well as the expe expectation of additional tariffs on Chinese goods. According to Xinhua, the central bank also said that the UN has strengthened 20% against the dollar over the past two decades. Yes, we are killing the UN, and we are also hurting other economies as well. In some ways, I feel like Trump's like a 4D chess player. When it comes to facing off with the Democrats, he can force some of the weaker party members up to the forefront, forefront by making leading members look bad. And when they're represented by weaker politicians who are less experienced and have more radical views, that makes him look good and want to vote for him. However, when it, this is an area where he's not a 4D chess player, but in fact an idiot. Let's not forget that he himself defaulted on loans and went bankrupt a total of four times. He's a fallible human being. Managing entire economies does not appear to be his forte. Not when he's engaged in this sort of action. He's hurting global economic trade with this crazy trade war crap. I mean... If I didn't know any better, I would honestly say Trump wants the rest of the world to just hate America unilaterally. I've pretty much made up my mind. I am not voting for him this next election cycle. 
I'm hoping the Democrats come up with someone real good, because I'm not voting for him. Hell, I I'm hoping Bill Weld makes the ticket, because I want to vote for Bill Weld. Oh, God, do I ever want to vote for Bill Weld. But yeah, the, I mean... See ya. Hope we survive the coming decade.